It's been, it's been wonderful. I've received almost 140 congratulatory emails and each one of them says something different. I have really enjoyed reading those. I've had a lot of people say, we're here to support you, we wanna be involved, we wanna help make change. So that's exciting going forward. Um, I've received flowers, you know, what woman doesn't like to receive flowers? Um, so it's, it's been exciting. Uh, there's a little sadness to it too, you know, Mr. Woods leaving, he's been with us 11 years and he's helped us build Blue Ridge where it is. So there's some sadness there, but at the same time, I'm hearing folks say, we're for you, we know you, we're glad you're gonna be our leader. I started my career as a nurse at the bedside. Um, and I thought when I went into nursing, I have found my niche, this is where I want to be in life. And I started in a med surge unit. From there, I went into a trauma unit at Duke, and I thought, wow, I have found my niche in life, this is where I wanna be. And from there, about three years later, I moved into my first management position, and I thought, wow, management, this is really where I want to be. And from there I just kept moving into different leadership roles. Um, I had the opportunity at the Outer Banks to be the president of that hospital and to build a hospital where they'd never had one before. I literally built it from, I say from the sand up. Um, they had no medical staff, they had no hospital, there was nothing. So I had the opportunity to put together all of my dreams that I had had in working hospitals year after year. And you know how we always say, well, if I built it, I would do this, or I wouldn't do that. Well, that was my opportunity. I built that hospital, developed the culture, recruited and developed the medical staff, hired all of the employees. And when I left there, we were phenomenally successful. It worked. So that's a great feeling. And now to be able to come to Blue Ridge where we've got something already established and take my years at the bedside, my years in management, and my years of building something from scratch and put that to work for Blue Ridge. We are, I think, very fortunate to be a part of Carolina's healthcare system. There are very few standalone facilities in, left in the country. And our board saw the wisdom of partnering with a strong system many, many years ago. So we've had the history with Carolinas, we've had the support of Carolinas. Going forward, I expect to see that grow, especially in the clinical arena. They are positioning themselves to be able to help us offer services that we've never had in our community before. And we can have those services because of that relationship. They can bring specialists to us for a day a week, uh, one day a month, whatever we need. And these are people that are tops in their specialty that we could never recruit to live and work in Burke County full time, but we can still take advantage of that. When a patient comes to receive health care, whatever, you know, whether it's the hospital, the physician office, the home health agency, the nursing home, the patient and their family judge that care based on one-on-one -on -one interactions. Every care team member at Blue Ridge Healthcare is the best marketing force that we have. The interaction with the patient and the family, how you treat them, how you respond to them, and how you communicate your caring. That's what makes the difference and that is what will make us patient-centered. It rests on the shoulder of every single person at Blue Ridge Healthcare. Everyone is our reputation. It's not our building. It's not the name we put on the building. It's not the flyers we send out in the mail. It's not the programs we put on. It's the one-on-one -on -one relationship, the personal relationship that each of us has with our patients and with our residents. Everybody has got to improve their relationship, that individual relationship. We have all got to walk our talk. We have standards of behavior that we've all committed to. I'm having senior leadership recommit to those standards of behavior. I expect to see those standards of behavior from every employee at Blue Ridge Healthcare. Our patients deserve that respect. They deserve us to interact with them with dignity, with respect, and with professionalism. And I will hold every employee at Blue Ridge Healthcare accountable to those standards.